Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again. Now, if you're in the market for rolling mill, great product, very useful. But for most of us, it's what we might call a considered purchase because they are a lot of money and you want to make sure that you get the best value. And for most of us, on a limited budget, it comes down to a compromise. You see, at the one end of the market, you've got things like this, the cheaper Indian, Chinese, foreign made ones. Um, these are usually the cheapest offerings, but quite often there's a compromise on quality and the build. It's the, they're usually not quite as good as some of the professional models. Of course, what we all want is the nice big professional models with the gearbox and the large rollers and that. But for most of us, on a tight budget or a small studio, students, hobbyists perhaps, something like this is usually out of our price range. So it's always a compromise between what we want, but what we can actually afford. Well, you don't have to compromise anymore. What if I told you that you could have something of professional quality, but for a bargain price tag? Yeah? Well, compromise no longer, because your wishes have been answered. All you have to do is say the magic words, and the magic words are on here. Pepe Tools. Come with me, let's take a look at it. So this is the all new Pepe Tools Ultra Series Rolling Mill and Pepe have totally redesigned it to be tougher and stronger for a lifetime of use. This is the largest of the current range at 130mm and this refers to the width here and this is the maximum working width of the rollers. Pepe offer a range of sizes, 90mm, 110 and this is the 130 and all sizes come with either flat rollers or combination rollers so if you're just working with sheet or you just want it for embossing and texturing then the plain rollers offer you a wider flat area so for example the 130 flat will allow you to roll up to 130 millimeter wide flat sheet but for most of us these combination rollers offer the best flexibility so the great for use with sheet, wire and burr. So this is the 130mm combination, which I think offers the best of both worlds. Over on the left here we have a series of 8 V-shaped grooves in both the top and bottom rollers. So you can use these for making square wire, or for straightening the edges of cast burrs before flattening them out. The other half of the roller is flat, so this is great for flattening out sheet, burrs, texturing and embossing, up to about 5mm thick. Now over on the opposite end here, you'll note that there's a series of three curved grooves in the top, but the lower roller is flat. And this allows you to make D-shaped wire, so this is for making ring shanks. Whether you go with the flat or the combo rollers, they're all 65mm diameter and machined from a very specific high quality carbon steel and Pepe have developed a method of hardening the roller to prevent distortion and the outer surface has been hardened to 60 rock wells so these rollers are seriously tough and should last a lifetime. But it's not just about the rollers. As you know, Pepe never take any shortcuts. They produce every component to the best quality using the best materials for the part. To start, the frame has been totally redesigned and is now one piece solid construction. This gives improved strength, rigidity and let me tell you, at £55 weight, this is a very solid piece of equipment. Here you can see the bushings are made of solid brass all the gears and the top handle are coated for anti-corrosion resistance and even the side cover has actually been machined not moulded, machined from solid ABS plastic even inside where you can't see they still take the same time and attention to detail look at these gears here no sharp edges, precisely made, coated and look here They've even beveled the inner edge so that it's easier to slip onto the end of the roller. Everything is just so precisely thought through. The handle has been forged, not cast. This makes it incredibly strong. And as a finishing touch here you can see the grip. Now, Pepe could have just used a plastic handle, but no. They've chosen the right type of wood, uh, it looks like it's beech or ash. 
It's been precision machined into a nice ergonomic shape, sanded and lightly varnished. So it's as beautiful as well as it is functional. And this is important because the handle is where you actually come into contact with the unit. It's solid, it's comfortable and it feels warm in your hand. All of the units are available with a 4 to 1 gearbox and personally I wouldn't use anything else. You see with the basic model the handle is just attached to the bottom roller. So turning the handle once moves the roller directly once. With the gearbox the handle rotates a series of gears which in turn rotate the rollers. In this case it has a 4 to 1 reduction. And what this means is that four revolutions of the handle will produce one revolution of the rollers. So why would you want to do that? Well, the simple answer is power. The gearbox amplifies your strength. So when you have a really tough job, you can just put a light amount of pressure on the handle and the gearbox will generate the force that you need. So when you're working all day, it's much easier on your arms and a lot less fatigue. The gearbox also means that as you turn the handle, the rollers will only move a quarter of the distance. And for me, this is what I love because it gives you a superb level of control and accuracy. Lastly, I just want to talk about some of the mounting options. As with any roller mill, it's absolutely vital that you firmly secure this to something solid. Make sure that the handle can rotate freely and you've got enough room to get your pieces in the front and out at the back. And Pepe gives you several options. Firstly, there are four mounting holes, one at each corner. And for most of us, this is probably the best method. Drill holes right the way through your bench top and use four long bolts to go right the way through the mill and through your bench. Use a nice big washer underneath and tighten them securely. And as a tip, make sure the bolts are snug in the diameter of the holes to avoid any possible movement. You may also note that there are two recesses in the centre, one at the front, one at the back. You can also use these to bolt it down to your bench top, or alternatively, Pepe offer an adjustable equipment stand. And this is a freestanding unit and it bolts to your floor. And this allows you to have 360 degree access all the way around it, but without taking up any of your valuable bench top space. So as you can see, it's superb professional quality. Designed with Pepe's attention to detail and built to their exacting standards. As always, there are going to be fakes and copies around, so go to a reputable dealer and ensure you get genuine Pepe Tools rolling mill made in the USA. What's that you're saying? You don't think you can afford all this quality? Don't forget guys, this is Pepe Tools we're talking about, so you know you're going to get great value. So get yourself down to your local supplier, ask for a genuine Pepe Tools and I guarantee you're going to be in for a really good surprise. I've been Dave Wilson, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon on the next video. Bye for now.